Welcome to this episode of the McBrothers. For those of you that are just new to the program, I'm Marcus, this is my brother Cliff. We also have a new member to the McBrothers family, right here. Layla. This is Layla. As you can see, she looks a lot like Ab will do, but this is not Abby's puppy. Even though they look almost like a before and after photo. On this week's episode, we're going to discuss... Uh, movie news, as well as we're going to review a few of the movies that we've seen lately. And I'm sure you just saw Abby walk across the screen. No need to worry. Come on. We're also introducing two new segments to the show. One being movie news, where we will brief you on some new movie news that we've just learned about. Also, a segment called Never Get Tired of That. This be an example. The children not being able to behave they were literally, during filming. Literally were, there you go again, moving the camera. They literally didn't move a muscle while we were setting the camera. Not a muscle. <laughs> the camera's just shaking. We're having some earthquakes in Texas this uh, today, so. Those are good special effects. It'd be like on Star Trek when everybody goes to the right. <laughs> On three, go to the right. One, two, three. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and get right into the nuts and bolts of this. First. Marcus likes to get in the nuts of it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, all you Big Brothers fans, we have an exciting new segment to the show. Every week we're going to be giving you just cutting edge movie news things that you can't get anywhere else except the internet. Marcus has some exciting new movie news for all you Arnie buffs out there. Because I am still an Arnie buff. Those of you that remember Arnold before he was governor made a, a lot of awesome movies back in the day. Well, he's in talks to do two, maybe three more movies that uh, he hasn't decided if he's going to do one, two, or all three. Uh, one of them being, he's uh, ex-lawman, of course, there's a shocker, right, Arnie and ex-lawman, where he has to take on the Mexican drug cartel, which there's a shocker, Arnold against thousands of enemies. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. That's <laughs> poor bastards. But uh, Cliff and I, when we were discussing this earlier, when we found out about this news, we both... Uh, already put in the parts of the movie that we can almost guarantee you will be there. One being, uh, there, will be, there will be a point in the movie, most likely towards the end, when he's hoisting two gargantuan guns just mowing down thousands of people, and all of which have machine guns shooting at him but never hitting him, maybe getting grazed in the shoulder, the leg, some little scratch. Most likely, the gun that shoots him will have shot somebody else in the beginning of the movie and blown a softball-sized chunk through their body. <laughs> exactly. But that same gun can't hurt Arnie. We all know this. No, one. it'll just leave a flesh wound. Um, and I can virtually guarantee someone will have to get to the chopper before the movie's over. That is almost a guarantee. Get to the chopper! 
Somebody might need to come with him if they want to live. Also, I'm pretty sure someone will have to get down! <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, uh, one of the other movies that I had read is he's looking to play a German, uh, an old German soldier. Which, that's a real stretch for Arnie to play a German, huh? It's a big stretch of Austrian. Because <laughs> Austria is like right there next to Germany. Sherman. But uh, from what I read on that one, he's a German soldier that's supposed to slaughter some kids. And of course, he's a German soldier with a conscience. So he decides not to, so now he has to save the children. So if they make that one, there's a good chance that I will not go watch that one. Unless there's a lot of Arnie action in it. I thought it. He said, when you, you go somewhere else, like, he's an angry old German soldier and some kids got on his lawn. Damn you, get off my lawn! <laughs> that would be a little bit more entertaining of a movie, I'm sure, than the one they're in talks to do. It's my soccer ball now! <laughs> it's my soccer ball! You're not gonna get this back. Kick this in my backyard, will you? <laughs> we also have some exciting news for you, Planet of the Apes fans. Oh, dear God. Apparently, they're making another Planet of the Apes movies. And before you get too excited, no, I don't think Marky Mark's in this one. And it's gonna blow. It does look like it's gonna blow. The We watched a teaser, which turned out to be like a three-minute preview of the movie. Which I might, uh, might show you guys a little bit of it. For those of you that remember the last Planet of the Apes movie, and I saw it, and I don't remember it. I just know it sucked. It's so bad, my brain literally erased it as if I did not sit through the movie. Same thing with that Godzilla remake they made about the same time. <laughs> They were in talks to make uh, Godzilla 2 at one point. Thank God somebody scrapped that project. You know what I remember about Godzilla? I remember the Taco Bell cup. That means that my Taco Bell, Taco Bell extra value meal meant more to me than seeing that movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have for entertainment news this week. Next week we'll bring you some more exciting entertainment, movie-related, or TV-related news. Now to our second segment, new segment of the McBrothers Show called Never Get Tired of That. For me, what I would like to discuss is going through the drive through and ordering, because I, I prefer easy ice in my soda. So I'll say, you know, give me a Dr. Pepper, easy on the ice please. And I would say there's a good 8 out of 10 times when I get up there and get my soda, it, had, it would appear that not only did I not get easy ice, but they put so much ice in that it, you would swear they packed it in there. Oh, easy ice, huh? <laughs> the lid doesn't even close right. It's actually popping off. When she hands it to me, I, the lid... Oh, there's too much ice in your easy ice. Never get tired of that. What I never get tired of is when people are driving, and I'm on the two-lane road, and they I'm in the right lane, and they blow past me because they're in such a hurry, but they're in such a hurry they don't actually look to see where they're going, and then they realize that they need to turn right a hundred feet in front of me. So they zoom past me to cut in front of me, slam on the brakes, and make me come to a full and complete stop when they could have just stayed behind me and I would have never had to hit the brake. Never I never get tired of that. <laughs> All right, in our new yeah, movie you, review you. section, we're going to review the movie Limitless and the movie Sucker Punch. I have not seen Sucker Punch. I have no idea what it is, but Marcus is going to tell me all about it, and you. Now, as for the movie Limitless, it's about this loser that has no ambition in life, and he screws up everything he tries to do. Well, his girlfriend leaves him, he's trying to write a book, but he's too busy going to the bar getting drunk every night. I mean, we've all been there. 
Sometimes I'm way too busy going to the bar to go to work. <laughs> Sometimes I go to the bar before I go to work. I should just get a job at the bar. I actually haven't been to a bar in years. But anyway, so some he runs into his ex-brother-in-law who's like, Hey, you want to go get a drink? And he's like, sure, not really with you, but I guess. So his ex-brother-in-law ex -brother immediately realizes that he's a total loser. And he's like, here, just take this pill. It'll make you super awesome and everything. And he doesn't want to take it, but he ends up taking it. And then immediately bones his landlord's wife. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> but you don't want to you don't want to tell them the entire movie. But spoiler. Yeah, that was a spoiler alert for you. Um, overall, it was an okay movie. I didn't fall asleep in it. And that's actually saying something, as my wife can attest. I am damn good at falling asleep in movies. Yeah, uh, for me, I'd say I'd agree. It, it's an okay movie. It's very predictable, so don't expect any kind of twists or surprises because you'll be able to call the movie pretty much as you watch it. I'd rate it a nice red box rental. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say it's worth a buck. Yeah. Now, for Sucker Punch, uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I watched about 40, I'd say 40 minutes, maybe 40 some odd minutes of a, an hour and 45 minute movie. And it's because I could not stomach any more of it. Now, I will preface this by saying the action sequence that I did see looked really cool, but it didn't save the fact that the movie made absolutely no sense. And I understand what the plot is supposed to be. It's supposed to be these, you know, fairly hot chicks in an insane asylum that their mode of escape is imagination. So you're going into their mind, but the way they edited it, in my opinion, it looks... You're in reality at one point, then you're in, your, in their dream world, but they don't... It's almost like they don't differentiate. They don't give you the the jumping, if you will. Like, you just immediately are there, and it's like, okay, wait a second. Also, from... And granted, like I said, I only watched 40 minutes of it, but you would hope that you'd know what the fuck was going on. Oh, excuse me. You, you'd think that they would at least let you know what's going on in the movie by that point. You would have a, at least somewhat of an understanding. Uh, with the dream se sequences that I saw, it's almost as if... Is it just one girl's dream sequence? Or are you watching all of them? Are they all dreaming the exact same thing? I, I, it just, it made no sense to me. Might have made more sense had you watched the rest of the movie. Maybe. And I will, I will admit to that as well, but I couldn't stomach it anymore. I was literally laying there going, Oh my god! I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to throw in a bonus review real quick, because you may remind me of a movie that I can't stand. <laughs> We went to see Fighting one time. Oh, dear God. That movie was so horrible. The acting was horrible. The scenes were predictable. It was so horribly boring. Bad acting. The worst movie. It's the only movie I've ever walked out of. And I've sat through some really bad movies. This, here's a quick side note to that. Uh, Cliff and I actually went to that movie. I actually drug Cliff to that movie. Because we were going to go see Wolverine. And I had it in my head because of some Nimrod's review that it was a not good, a, not a good movie. I got all scared and I was like, oh, I was afraid he would waste his money because he was buying the movie for me. <laughs> it was treating me to a movie. So basically to say thanks, I took him to this absolutely horrible movie fighting. And if any of you have seen it, you don't have to listen to our review of it. You already know. But I walked out, I said, okay, I'll be right back. And I think Cliff knew what I was going to do, but I went down, tried to get him his money back. And go ahead and tell him how that all turned out, Cliff. They refunded the money. They said, 
what they actually did was charge two more tickets to my card. So I paid twice to see the worst movie I have ever seen. Four tickets. For the price of two, he paid four times. And I guess the movie was so bad that they thought we should double charge them so at least somebody, <laughs> so at least they get some money back on this movie. It was that bad. It was pretty bad. I'd rate that right up there with Skyline, which we'll go over later on. I would watch Skyline twice in a row before I'd sit through that movie. <laughs> That's saying a lot. So, we appreciate you joining us for this episode. Join us next week when we'll be reviewing some more... Who knows? We might review... Whatever. We're going to review something. But... We'll also have new movie news and new Never Get Tired of That segments. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.